Ani, bojo, salut, hello, hola, sego to the Mohawk sisters and brothers for holding down this land and uh, everyone who's brought me here. I'm very grateful. Um, I'm going to ask you to follow me with your hands. Touch your head. Mm. I'm going to say thank you for all that thinking and dreaming that the head does, but just for a moment, we'll let uh, the rest of our body think for us. I'm going to look to our eyes. You see those ancient fingerprints that are the summation of all of your ancestors and wake them up. Look at different things in the room, really far things. Light. Uh, smell. Smell your skin. That's your smell. Hopefully we smell good things, eat good things, <laughs> and listen when we smell bad things. And uh, in our mouth, swish the food left over, your saliva. This is where our words come from, and we hope that we speak good things in our heart. That's what we do. We listen to our heart before we speak. So you touch that heart and really feel for a moment what you're feeling. And bring all those good feelings forward and take your hands up in space. They say your, your heart is in your hands. I really invite you to do this right now. <laughs> like stretch. We've been sitting, sitting, sitting. Good, complacent Nishnabe and other people. We sit. Your hands want to really twist them, rotate them. Get the baby fingers backwards. We don't lift anymore because we have to walk around like this, right? You only lift your hand when you're going to speak. You, uh, you don't want to cause a panic in a room, right? So this is, this is the way that we think. When you invite an indigenous artist into your space, um, I really invite you to let them be themselves and present work on their terms. Um, we like to work in different ways. We're very connected to other aesthetics and other ways of being. Everybody's trying to be something different and, and you're reaching in an, in an arbitrary way. Um, so you sometimes take an indigenous work and you put them, you put them right here. Like this. We're, not, we're not this to put on a shelf, <laughs> right? You have to let us flourish. Um, and by that, you'll be expanding your audiences and that is your job. Right? As presenters, you have an incredible amount of power and you should acknowledge that. Incredible amount of power. And if you really want to engage where you are, an indigenous artist can really help you connect to people um, where you are. So my work and my sister's and brother's work is incredibly different um, in all sorts of ways. This is a work in London, England um, called uh, South London's Rite of Spring. I've done it here in Peterborough, Ontario as well where we take 40 people, members from the community, and just interweave just a few professionals and over a six week period, so it costs a lot of money, takes a lot of time, and it's a little bit dangerous, um, we, we perform this sacred work, the rite of spring, and we, we bring it back to the people. This is what we'll be presenting um, on Friday and Saturday, uh, the Indian way, it's a duet um, with me and um, a friend of mine, Mariana Medellin, who has helped me a lot. So um, if you haven't had indigenous people in your space, you're already behind. So I really hope um, you bring us out and um, really work with your community. So miigwech.